Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to change your desktop background in Ubuntu and how to uninstall the GNOME screensaver and install X desktop screensaver so that way you actually do have a screensaver in Ubuntu Linux. Now for the desktop background, first things first, you can just like in Windows, right click on the background, go to change desktop background and choose one of the defaults that it gives you. We'll go ahead and go with that one for now. I apologize for this running a little bit slow as you can see down here the updater is running so it's a little bit on the slow side but not super bad. Now the other method for changing your background is let's say you've downloaded a picture or something in Firefox and you decide that you want to go change it that way. That is absolutely great just like in Windows all you have to do is browse to the picture find the picture you want right click on it and right there's the option set as wallpaper click that uh, it'll come up asking you might have to hit replace if it comes up saying something about replacing that's fine just hit replace if it doesn't pop up it should automatically switch and as soon as you hit replace or click on the button there it is that's how you change the desktop background now in order to change your screensaver you're gonna have to go to this address and I will provide this address in the link or into the description all you have to do is come up here and click on the top here and in the search type in terminal click on terminal and you should be able to copy these commands by right click copy bring terminal back up here right click paste hit enter sudo password the password for sudo is going to be whatever the first password was you set whenever you done the install in this case is one two three four five yes or no yes enter okay and it completed the first step so now what we got to do is copy and paste the second part copy pull terminal back up right click paste again it's gonna run right through I've already put in the password yes That's going to go through and install the download and install the actual screensaver. For some reason, the developers of Ubuntu, you can go ahead and close this once it completes. The developers of Ubuntu decided that um, it is more optimal to have the monitor turn off into a low power standby than to run an actual screensaver, so they did not give you that option. This will reinstall the option. Once you have ran those two commands, and I will also put, post the actual commands inside the description. Once you have ran those two commands, all you got to do is come up here and click on this little button at the top and type in screen. And it's going to pop up the screen saver right there. Click on that. And now you can go in and configure your screen saver. The GNOME screen saver daemon appears to be running, but it has stopped X screen saver. It must be stopped for X screensaver to run properly. Stop known screensaver daemon now. Click OK if you see this warning. X screensaver doesn't seem to be running on display. Launch it now. Click OK if you see this warning message as well. And now your X screensaver should be running. Uh, let's see what one do we want. That works. We'll go with that one. 
so you can select the screen saver that you want over here you can set the time frame and then you can hit settings here and this will show you your frame rate and everything I'm gonna turn the frame rate up pretty high duration not super super long count and we'll leave that at minus five number of colors many okay do a preview here there's the screensaver that's what it's going to look like as it runs with the current settings okay and then advanced grab desktop image that works so we'll close that right there and now you have everything set this information's out there for absolutely everybody and as always watch like and share have a great day